If there isn't enough evidence to make most, most rich people build a bunker under a mountains, then we are in a very last days before Armageddon and the second coming of Jesus Christ. Now we can add this to the list of things to look for, to look for in the Bible. Uh, ScienceDaily.com reports that hybrid human animal embryo research approved in the UK. And actually, it has been reported by some on the web that England has already produced 150 human animal hybrids. China is planning on selling human milk produced by cows, etc., etc., etc. Where in the Bible and history does it warn of this as a sign of the end times? Jesus said in Matthew 24, 37, But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man, Son of Man be. What are some of the things that ancient history reveals to us about the previous civilizations of man? Ancient stories and writings are punctuated with chimeras or hybrids of different kinds of animals like griffins, a lion-bird hybrid. Of course, there were also many human-animal hybrids described in these ancient writings as well. Critics will say this history is all just the active imaginations of past storytellers. However, there is at least one chimera hybrid still alive today. Recent DNA sequencing shows that the platypus is constructed of large segments of the genomes from fish, reptile, and bird, and mammals. Almost like someone was experimenting with how far the splicing of genes could be carried. Another reason to believe cloning of hybrids is nothing new is the fact that God outlawed the practice in the laws of Moses. Leviticus 19.19 You shall keep my statutes, thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed, neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. The Hebrew word cattle in this verse means beast of the field, not necessarily different species of what we today call cattle, but the different kinds, as it says. Don't mix their seed naturally. There is a natural God-created barrier that prevents this mixing from creating new hybrids, although there are a few exceptions, but it is very rare, like the lion and tiger. So God must have been telling the Israelites not to force or experiment making hybrids. This is also a good indication that it was done before the flood, that the people after the flood still remembered it, so God had to forbid it. One last piece of evidence of hybrids is being created before the flood was the ancient story of Atlantis, conveyed by Plato, Critias, and many others. It talked about a continent and empire west of the Straits of Gibraltar, the Atlanteans are credited by many of these historians to have achieved great progress, for want of a better word, in philosophies and science. In the creation of hybrids, even human-animal slaves, accompany, accompany many of these accounts. Moses, of course, also mentioned that before the flood there were giants and great men of renown, giants from crossbreeding humans with angels. So, ad advent of cloning hybrids as another sign that we are in the very last days before Christ's triumphal return, this time as a conquering hero that destroys all the wickedness and the wicked, who refuse to acknowledge him for who he really is, the creator and the maintainer of the universe.